Hello, welcome everyone. Come and watch me build the general store counter. I'm gluing a little frame around one of the front pieces of the counter. It will create a little pocket to hold the clear packaging that will become the glass front of each one of the little cubbies. This is how it fits in that little frame and that way I don't have to put glue on it when I put it together. It'll just lay in that little opening. I took the packaging out. I'm just using the brayer to flatten the little frame around the front piece. Now I'm cleaning up some glue that oozed out. Here I'm gluing it to the back of the front. I'll call this piece the front back. Each one of the little sections I'm going to glue the fake food into. This piece is identical to the piece that I glued to the front back. I'm gluing a little frame around each opening to make it look as if it's an individual drawer. All the frames are glued in place now. I'll call this the front front. Now the fun part, gluing all the food into each little section. I had this on hand. I used it to make flowers a long time ago. It's painted paper that I cut into little squares. It reminded me of corn. I'm testing the plastic packaging again to make sure that the food I'm gluing in is not going to keep it from laying flat. This is some more of that painted paper that I had on hand. If I remember correctly, I think I painted paper in different shades of green or whatever color I wanted. And then I sliced them into little strips and then I just cut those into little squares. I used it to make plants for the gnome house that you probably saw in my intro video. I'm testing that packaging again to make sure that the food isn't too thick and that the plastic won't be able to lay flat. And here all the little cubbies are filled in. I had to paint the front front completely first because when I glue it onto the front back I don't want to get paint onto the plastic packaging. I cut a strip of paper a quarter of an inch wide. And I made little marks on the strip every half inch or inch, I can't remember. I'm creating little handles to glue onto the front. I didn't want to paint each one individually, so I threw them into one of the little cups of my paint pan with some black paint and Mod Podge and just smushed it all around. I'm applying glue all the way around the edge on the back back, and then I'm going to lay the packaging on carefully not to get glue on it and then I will gl uh, glue the front front onto the back front. And then I just 
put clamps on it to let it dry, but those clamps, the pink ones, are a little bit of a joke. I got them from Dollar Tree, and some of them don't hold really tight. But I did only spend $1.25 on them. I'm dipping the little handles into glue and then placing them onto the drawer. And here the front is complete. I just love the way all the food looks in each one of the drawers. I really feel like there's food behind there. Here I'm showing you with one of the sides how I use four layers of cardstock or whatever it takes to equal a sixteenth thick together to create one side piece. I glue two pieces together and then use the brayer on them and then glue the other two pieces together and use the brayer on those and then I glue those two sections together. I'm gluing one of the sides onto the back. And now I'm gluing the bottom to the back and the side. Here I'm gluing the other side onto the back. I'm gluing two supports onto the inside that you won't see when it's finished. And here I'm gluing the top onto it. Once it's dry, I make sure I get all of my sanding done. I make sure that all of my edges are flat and even with each other. Because I can't do any sanding once I have glued the front on, it will put a lot of dust on the little glass windows. And now I'm ready to glue the front onto the back. I could have used layers of cardstock, but I chose to use the foam board to make part of this decorative base piece. And now I'm just edging it with strips of cardstock to hide that rough edge of the foam board. And these two pieces are also part of the base, and I've beveled all the way around on each one. And now I'm just gluing them together. I did all of this twice, except for the foam board, for the top and the bottom decorative pieces of the counter. And here they are side by side.
I glued the foam board piece to one of them on the back. And I was just checking out both pieces to see how it looked. I wish I would have done this before I glued it on to the, to the sides, but I've decided to put fake cabinets, even though it will probably never be seen. But for just in case, at least that side will be finished off. I'm drilling some holes for the door knobs. The knobs were made with toothpicks and paper rolled on the end of each one. Here I'm gluing the counter onto the base. And now I'm gluing the decorative countertop on. Painting a light layer of Mod Podge all the way around except for the front. A base coat of the Moccasin Brown. Applying a watered down earth brown to give it the wood tone. Brushing on some brown and black chalk pastels to dirty it up a little bit. And here it is finished. And always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.